Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our main event of the evening. Coors Super Fights for the International Sport Karate Association Heavyweight Championship of the World in the blue corner. Introducing from New Orleans, Louisiana. He weighs 191 pounds. He has a professional record of 38 wins, eight losses, 19 of those wins by knockout. Will you welcome to Denver, Al the Comet Mims. record is 29 wins, one loss, 23 of those wins by knockout, the champion, Dennis the Terminator. anything besides the fighter's feet touch the ground, you must stop the attack. Let's have a good, clean fight, gentlemen. Good luck to both of you. We've had the instructions. And the fighters are ready to go. It'll be 12 rounds or less for the ISK World Heavyweight Championship. Did you see the way Alexio came into the ring? Not only attired in after dinner wear for a fighter with white tails, Dan, I want you to take a lesson from the way this guy dresses and learn something. I'll try to follow suit. <laughs> Alexio in the white, the world champion of the cruiserweight and the heavyweight title. Only the heavyweight titles at stake here. Mims in the black fighting pants. Alexio taking that trademark kicks to the ribs. He often begins by attacking his opponents to the body. He's giving away at least four inches in height in this one. And so the body is a natural choice for target, Dan. It's hard to believe that there's just three pounds of weight difference between these two men. Alexio is so much bigger than Mims. I've never seen Mims fight. I've seen Alexio fight a lot of fights. It just doesn't seem like it would be a fun thing to do to get in the ring with Come that on, man. Well, Al Mims is fighting him for the third time. Give Al Mims some credit for that. Oh, uh, overhand right almost. Stay like that if they caught Mims clean. Mims pulling Alexio forward. A good boxing technique there. Throwing the champion off balance and pulling him in Come where he couldn't do any damage. Oh, put him away. Mims has been in there twice and been stopped twice by Alexio. Once, they both agree. The referee made a tremendous mistake, had no business stopping the fight. Another time, the first time they met, which was four years ago, Alexio stopped Mims with a round kick to the ribs. Just a lucky shot, according to Mims. Alexio is staying close in range. Mims, who you would think would want to open up some distance between the fighters, is not really trying to keep Alexio off. No, and that could be a big mistake. Alexio is just a very big, strong man. He's got very good boxing skills, very good kicking skills. So far, it seems like Mims is just trying to step in there and tie him up. That is against the ISKA rules. You cannot clinch in ISKA rules. Overhand right raises Alexio's chin. No damage done. It could spell uh, trouble later on if he finds the range. Mims looks very calm in there. He looks very confident. Alexio's a, a reputation and his just physical strength and kicking ability with body shots like those round kicks right off the bat. Often to make opponents right hand up might have hurt Mims a little bit. First round's over, both kick men got their eight kicks in. Mims goes back and he knows from prior experience and he knows it again tonight. There's no such thing as a feel out round for Dennis Alexio. He comes right out and tries to punish you from the opening bell. Alexio just bows in and starts going forward. He comes in with those hard back leg ground kicks. He's got excellent punching skills. He can knock you out with a foot or a hand. It doesn't much matter to him. 
Mint is staying cool, calm, and relaxed. We'll just see. Maybe he's going to try to wear him down and do damage in the later round. I can't hardly see Dennis getting tired. Dennis is coming off of a injury, though. It's the first time I think that he's ever been injured. He did some damage to uh, the little finger on his left hand, and I believe, Michael, you were talking to him earlier, and he did make a comment that that did affect him a little bit. Well, he said that it, it bothers him a little bit psychologically. He wouldn't let on how much. Just the fact that he would admit it, I have to feel like it's bothering him more than he'd like to. But uh, after a round or two, we'll see if he just relaxes about the whole thing. <laughs> Certainly, he didn't look any less the bruiser in that first round. He's carrying a full 195 pounds, as you pointed out, 194 for this, when he's grown into a full heavyweight. He won the title. He was at the cruiserweight limit of 182. But he looks very strong. And that left kick slapped into Mims' face, Dan. Basically the same tempo as the first round. Mims is just kind of hanging in there and kind of tying him up and trying to wear him down, maybe. Alexio's going after him. Mims started off with those front kicks to the body that weren't real effective, but were working well in keeping Dennis off of him. If he stayed with that straight line, he may be able to keep Dennis away and maybe get a good shot in. Alexio now controlling the pace behind that left lead kick as he sends Mims to the ropes two and three times in a row now. Mims fighting back with his hands. He's been a professional boxer, probably a better puncher than a kicker. He wouldn't talk strategy before the fight. Alexio already looking like the body shots are weakening Mims. Mims doesn't look as sharp as he did even in the first round. Right hand up.